I'm at 1500, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the scanner out of the tube. And these are the tools that we're going to need. We're going to need a 3 millimeter Allen wrench, small flathead screwdriver, an SMA Torx, which is a 5 16 or 8 millimeter wrench will work. We're also going to use an ESD strap. Now for this demonstration I already moved, removed 10 of the bolts across the scanner and uh, it's not really necessary to mark the scanner as there's an alignment Allen screw at the bottom and we'll use that when we realign it. <clears throat> Now the unit won't completely fall out when you remove the screws, but uh, there's a cable assembly in there that'll hold it in place. And the ESD strap, you want to make sure it's hooked to the ground part of the scanner. You can slide the unit out. And we're going to expose <coughs> the data connection line on the back of the circuit board. And to remove that DB9 connector, you just need the uh, flat screwdriver. So why don't you come across to see that? And that's why we want to use our ESD protection, just in case our fingers slip. And we're going to pull that connector off. That's actually a DB15. I need to continue to pull the scanner out and expose the SMA connector that's here on the bottom. Once this cable's removed, the unit can easily be taken out. <clears throat> Let me set that aside. Then inside the scanner, you'll notice the two cables. So when you when you remove it, this is the tension that you're feeling. And then when you put the new unit back in, again you'll get some tension on that, and you'll have to turn the scanner assembly when you push it in again to align it to the alignment bolt. <clears throat> 